What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. I know this video is a little late but we've been on vacation and having some fun so we're finally making our way around to talking about the 1.18 experimental snapshot. Obviously there is a lot to go over in this new snapshot so we're going to get right into it in today's video but before we begin if you enjoy this video be sure to drop a like down below and if you're new to the channel definitely hit that subscribe button it really means a lot. Alright let's get into it. So first up in the snapshot, they added back a few things that went missing in the last snapshot, two of which were biomes, the ice spikes and eroded badlands. And they also added back the pillars in the end dimension that for some reason just weren't there before. So that's now been added back and completely fine. They also fixed the microbiome problem. Uh, well, they reduced the microbiome problem that they started having in the last snapshot. Uh, a lot of small, tiny, you know, five block biomes were spawning in other biomes and they tried to reduce that. I did still find a few while touring this world, so it's definitely still a thing that happens, but it's gonna happen a lot less now and they'll have it all straightened out by the time this actually gets released later this year. They also changed the height at which mountains can go up to. It can now go up to about 260Y, but it's very rarely that that's gonna happen and you're probably never gonna really see that in your own world. One of the things I'd like to point out is that the new localized water looks absolutely incredible on top of land as well as in the caves with the aqueducts. As you can see right here, I'm right next to a river and there was just some water ponds right next to it but at different levels and I think that looks amazing. Of course the caves look amazing as well and I like how they're generating right now. Obviously they're still subject to some change going into the new update but for now I think they're looking incredible and I hope they don't change too much from what they are. Another great part of this snapshot is the village spawning. Villages spawn in incredible ways now and I think that it's really going to look incredible in the final world generation as well. How they spawn on mountains and going into caves, things like that. It looks pretty great and I really hope it stays the same. One of the biggest changes that they made in this snapshot was actually back with the mob spawning again. This time they went towards spawners and the zombie skeleton, spider, and cave spider spawners now have to have a light level of 11 or below in order for mobs to spawn. This is a huge change and actually makes spawners a bit more challenging to beat, but it still shouldn't be too bad. You just have to throw a couple torches on it and it should be able to handle the mobs that are spawning from it. I think this is a great change considering that the new light level for mobs to spawn anywhere is zero and so this is going to make mobs a bit more challenging underground when you're dealing with spawners. Something I had actually mentioned in the last video that I was hoping that they would change is that the cloud level was still at Y128 even though most of the block generation was actually going up to about that height. Fortunately, they did actually change that in this snapshot and it's up to Y192, so that's going to make things a lot easier to see, especially when you're dealing with the mountain biomes that they've added in this new update. Speaking of mountains, there have been some huge changes to the naming of the actual biomes themselves uh, in order to deal with the new mountain biomes themselves. Uh, namely, the Old Mountains biome and the Gravelly Mountains have been changed to Extreme Hills and Gravelly Hills, which does make a lot of sense considering they're no longer really mountains considering that the new mountains actually go up to uh, you know why 220 to 260. Beaches have also made some uh, major changes instead of smaller beaches along the entire biome you're actually gonna find larger beaches but on about half the biome uh, in order to give some variation to it. I actually really like this change and the developers were actually putting out pictures on Twitter in order to go over some of the ideas for it and I think it actually turned out pretty good. You can actually see in this clip right here uh, before I went underground that half the biome up there did have some beaches right on this lake and then half the biome was just regular. That is pretty much it for this snapshot. Of course, we're not going to get another one for a few weeks probably because most of Mojang is on vacation, so they're not going to be doing any more development. There is some small development going on still, and they have talked about being proud of the work they are currently doing, so hopefully we do get to see some changes in a few weeks. Although, what I'm really hoping for is a snapshot of the Warden finally. Uh, but we'll see what we get when we get it, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.